guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda and we are here with uh, 600 plus things and um, I've actually fixed the uh, the blog thing. The numbers were way off um, so I retyped them all out. It took forever but <laughs> now you can join in knowing that all the numbers are correct. It didn't really matter because it was randomised anyway but um, I just wanted to have the right amount of stuff and related to the right amount of numbers. So um, today we got ice cream sundae slash, well ice cream slash sundae and I decided to draw an ice cream sundae because um, I tried this in the past and it was really hard um, and I used only limited supplies. Um, that was in a scroller box so if you want to see that I will hopefully link that in the description below, but you know what I'm like, just tell me in the comments and I'll put it in there. Um, but anyway, uh, I am thinking about like, you know, listening to my videos and linking all the stuff that I say I'm going to link in the future. So anyway, this was really fun. It's so fun, in fact, that I went on to draw lots more ice cream related stuff and I went crazy on Pinterest and pinned a lot of stuff. So if you want to see um, any of the stuff that I've been drawing recently, um, then you can go to my Pinterest and click on the board sweets and treats or something, sweet sweet treats. Um, and then I will continue to add more to that because I want to do a lot of um, candy drawings in the future or sweetie drawings in the future, if you want to be British. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing this and I decided to try a completely different thing this time, which was to draw it in pencil and then um, quite big as well. And then to go over it in dip pen. Um, the plants that you see on the other side I did in the last sketchbook chat video last week, not uh, yesterday but last week so if you want to go and check that out you can as well but um, this one as you can see I'm using a dip pen and ink uh, this paper isn't the best for this but it's actually pretty good um, and I had a lot of fun using this dip pen I bought these dip pens expecting that this would be the way that I ink in the future but I didn't really like it because it was scratchy and it tore up the paper but if you have a really light pressure then you can actually like move it whatever way you want and if you can press it down then you get a thicker line obviously um, so I really enjoyed it now the only thing is is that um, you do get black ink all over your fingers if you if you're not careful and I'm definitely not careful with it so um but it's fun and I really enjoyed it so that's what I'm doing here um today's updates I guess uh I am planning a lot of exciting things um, I'm trying to pre-record a lot of videos recently because I know that um at the end of the year my son and my partner are off a lot um, my son has like a week in September or a couple of days in September off, a week in October and then like um, a week in November maybe and then like two weeks in or three weeks maybe, two or three weeks, I think it's two weeks um, in December slash January. So um, that's a thing and also my partner is apparently planning to take a week off in November and like four weeks off at the end of the year so um, I need to record a bunch obviously I can record when they're still here when they are here but um, I prefer to record uh, during the day when my kids at nursery so that I can be as loud as I want <laughs> so yeah I'm trying to uh, do a lot of things so that means that the child the, the child the, my little child which is the channel by the way um, will not have much variety going forward um, Except from the October is going to be obviously on this channel, but um, after the new the new year, I do want to plan and uh, make the channel exciting again and uh, do different things. I hope that you guys enjoy these six hundred plus things. I know I get around fifty views every time, so that's great um, that you guys are consistent with it. Um, but yeah, I never know what to talk about in these videos because I don't really script them. I just go off on a tangent and it's usually to pro promote all my other stuff but if you ever want to see any of my other stuff that I do on the internet then you can look in the description below and all the links will be there labelled and all so that you know what you're clicking on and it'll be great we can all have a, a chat and community and stuff and, and, and I look forward to that because I do not follow much people well I follow a lot of artists but they don't follow me and I it, and um, they're all busy so like they don't talk to me <laughs> but I follow more simmers than I do artists which I want to change I want to follow the same amount of simmers that I do now but more artists than I do so that's a thing um, 
yeah, but I really enjoyed doing this. This is actually the chocolate sauce that I'm cladding in just now, and it was fun um, to just uh, do the darker spots. I know that the pr proportion, the proportion, is off on this drawing a lot, um, but you know what? I'm learning. I'm still learning. I didn't ever say that I was a good artist. This is all about the journey of learning and um, growing together. So if you want to take part in this particular sketchbook, sorry, 600 plus things, then please do draw, draw a Sunday and uh, tag me on Instagram or Twitter with it. I want to see what you guys are up to as well. I barely get any people um, that show me their art and I think a lot of that is to do with the fact that quite a lot of people that don't actually do art watch my videos um, so it'd be fun to see you even if you're not an artist just to draw a little doodle of a Sunday and you never know it might be better than mine <laughs> it probably will be it wouldn't be that hard um, but yeah it was fun I also made the mistake of uh, going over some of this ink while it was still wet with water I just wanted to kind of like blend it out a little bit and make it a little bit darker um, but some of the some of the ink was way wetter than I thought it was so I ended up uh, blotting it all over the place but it's cool, it's fine. We live and learn, um, which I certainly did on this and that's what it's all about. It's not about having a perfect piece at the end to show the internet. For me anyway, it's more about what I learned from it and I learned that I need to um, go a little bit slower when I'm inking <laughs> and to make sure the proportions are right before I start drawing anymore. As you can see the the um the middle part of the glass or whatever it is is kind of off. It's more to I don't know, it's the wave isn't the same. The same with this. Um I inked it and I went way too far out um from the original line of the glass than I should have. Um, but yeah, like I said, I had I had so much fun. I always have so much fun when I do these uh, 600 plus things. That's why I don't have a clue why I thought I was going to stop these. Um, and I'm glad that I continued doing them on this channel. Um, but I would love to see you guys do um, them as well and see what you come up with. Um, obviously, you can do full il illustrations with these kind of things. Um, like you could do a little guy at a restaurant, like a little baby or a little child scoffing on some ice cream that would be cool um but I don't have the ability or the skills to do that I guess if I had an exact reference I probably could pull it off but I don't think that I could come up with a little dude um drawing ice cream and that is where I want to be if I want to draw a little dude munching on some ice cream with ice cream splattered all over his face in his clothes at a table then um I want to be able to draw it <laughs> without having to look at too much references. I obviously would look at references for perspective point of view, but other than that, I want to know um, exactly how uh, thick his, his neck and his arms and his little chubby legs would be. <laughs> I'm just picturing it and it's really funny. I can picture this stuff in my mind, but I can't execute it, which is really annoying as an artist if you can't execute your ideas. So the only way to be able to execute your ideas in the future is to practice in the present time. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, but I need to practice a lot more. I, I do a lot of these singular item things and I should do multiple background stuff and um, environment stuff and all that stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. And that would make me much more happy. I'm sorry that you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just writing dip pen and ink on there. <laughs> um, just to make sure that I remember that that's what I did and how I did it. So it was fun and I really loved it. I can't believe that it's nine o'clock already. I'll need to go and pick up Caden in like an hour and a half. No, two hours actually. That's that's quite a, lo a lot of time. Anyway, here I go with the water. I'm just using a really old brush that I hate so that I don't feel bad if like the ink. In fact, I didn't even wash this brush after I used it. You should wash your brushes after you use it. But as you can see, I'm just dragging the ink around and I don't even think you see my mistake down here. No, you don't because I'm a horrible YouTuber. There we go. See, I put far too much black on my brush and I was just trying to spread it all over the place and it just made it messy. But I still like the way that this came out and I am going to draw more ice cream sundaes, especially with colour, in the future. So I hope that you look forward to that and see that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just spreading it all around and, and um, stuff. The ink that I used is called... Oh, it's right here. The ink that I used is called Cali non-clogging pigmented waterproof <laughs> waterproof once dry um calligraphy ink and it's jet black india 010 
Um, I don't know the uh, thing, but it says shake lightly before use, which I did. Um, Pernaments is four stars, so yeah, it's pretty permanent when it dries. I don't know what the company is. Um, it doesn't. Oh, it's Dela Rooney. Dela Rooney, obviously, because everything's Dela Rooney that I have. Anyway, that is the end of this video, guys. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get notified of all the videos that I post Monday to Friday and sometimes Saturday and Sunday. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.